I don't know if you've heard, but Sis Def's decided to pay us a little visit. Rix's legacy? Dios mío. I, I can't believe it's right here. Jazz, fire up the analyzer. Can you confirm? It's true. You were right all along, Dell. You know, there were moments. Doubts. I almost stopped believing it was real. That I was chasing ghosts. But then came that day on Subaruf, and everything changed. And now, here it is. Grix's legacy. Our future. Of that, there can be no doubt. I get what you're saying, but we're not gonna be bankers. These funds will go to weapons, ships, and boots on the ground. <coughs> now, only one thing stands in our way. The vigilance. Speak of the devil. Jazz, what is the situation? Looks like Itande is starting to move. Typical sis death. The sharks are so bloodthirsty, they won't even give us time to bask in the moment. Ikande doesn't give a damn. He doesn't need the legacy. He's just terrified what we'll do with all the credits. That is, if we survive this encounter and get to spend them. Those first few Sistef ships were only scouts, trying to confuse us and probe our defenses. Which means they're playing it smart. They're gonna try to take out our defensive batteries before bringing in their big guns. The batteries are the only thing we have with enough electromagnetic firepower to punch through the Vigilance's hardened shielding. We lose those batteries, we lose everything. Precisely, so we can't afford to screw this up. Jazz, lay the plan out for us. We're gonna hold the fort here while you hop back into your bird and head for those defensive batteries. For optimal firing coverage, we're keeping them far from the key and each other. So you'll have to jump to each one individually. You see any Sistef ships get within pissing distance of the batteries? You take them out. In the meantime, we'll secure Crix's legacy here and have Shinya begin cracking the encryption right away. If I wanted you dead, I wouldn't take a chance that you might survive the battle. I'd shoot you in the head, right here, right now. As it happens, <laughs> keeping you alive is going to end up being much more lucrative for everyone. Receiving a cut of those credits is the only thing that is convincing the fleet's captains that it's worth risking their own lives to defend the key. Hey, if it's any help, you can count on one hell of a party when you get back. Amen, Jazz. Once the batteries are online, we will start our attack of the Vigilance. We'll tear apart the shields, board the ship, and bring Ikande to his knees. Then you have your orders. Oh, and one last thing before you go. In preparation for the attack, Ikande arrested some of our people. While you're aboard the Vigilance, you might want to spring them from the brig. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, good luck. Yeah? Forget something? Got your hands full, huh? How can I help? All right, let's see what you need. Station's on high. 
This is it. All ships fall back! Defend the key! Grab job. 
drive out of commission.
Ceiling Vault has 9, 12, 14. worth it. like old times. It's good to be back. Hey, now that wasn't by choice. Besides, I was still making a little bit of extra cash until you stumbled <coughs> aboard a siren and knocked it all up. Anyway, I'll deal with these prisoners. Could use a few extra hands. Go on, go on. You work your magic and I'll take my pick of the cargo here.
section is just up ahead. <laughs> you take the lead. I mean, someone is. Go, go, go! Stop the Crimson Fleet. Beauty isn't jumping anywhere now. What would you do without me? Don't thank me. I'm just doing my job protecting the Crimson Fleet's investment. 
All right, enough of this bullshit. Go on ahead and give Ikande my regards. I bet he can't wait to see you. This is a far cry from enforcing debts in Sidonia, am I right? Damn right it's good to see me. I'm about to hook your sorry ass up a second time. So, section ahead's a bit tricky. Comchatter says Sisdef's about to hit us with a squad of heavily armed troops. I've hacked all their bots and turrets to give us some backup. Or if you want to move fast, I can find you a way around instead. How you want to play this? No problem. You just focus on the door at the end of the hall. I'll keep everything else locked down. and I can pick off anyone down below.
care of the mess around here for you. Felt pretty good, too. Been a while since I was dropped into the middle of a firefight. Yeah, well, spend as long on Neon as I have, and you'll learn that using a gun is the most effective way to get what you want. You better run along. I'm sure they'll send a few goons through here eventually. We'll handle them for you. going to allow the Vigilance to fall into the hands of the Crimson Fleet. Why are you even bothering to talk? We should drop this asshole right now! Lower your weapon, Gillian. Are you out of your mind? Why? It would be pointless. I have activated the Vigilance's self-destruct. It won't be long before this ship and everyone who remains aboard are going to be incinerated. I am not killing anyone. The destruction of this vessel and the deaths of everyone aboard falls on your shoulders. Whatever caused you to side with these lawless pirates, I hope it was worth it. Such an obvious answer. 
I am honestly surprised. It amazes me that despite how much you have seen people suffer for the sake of wealth, you still chose it as your primary motivation. In light of what's about to happen to us, I suppose it doesn't matter. And why would I do that? You're lying. I may have fallen for it once before, but I will not this time. Ironic that the one who tarnishes my legacy tries to appeal to it. This doesn't mean you're wrong. But you put it that way, it does seem hopeless. Are you saying you'll spare her and my crew? I'm loath to trust you. But you also have no reason to hold us. I admit, it's not an easy decision. I take it not everyone was able to abandon ship. You win. I've cancelled this self-destruct. You won't have any resistance from myself or Lieutenant Doft. I don't care about my life. I just want assurances that my crew will be spared. You're breaking my heart. Clear for flight. Miss me? Jumping off the ship? Not even gonna bother comparing my kill count to yours. I know you put in work. That's one hell of a souvenir you got there, pirate. Nah, I figured we can use it for target practice. What about the rest of you? Come back with any spoils? I lose it. Good job, Rook. Son of a bitch, you did it! You actually pulled it off! Didn't I tell you, Dale? I told you there was something different about this rook! Oh my god, Nave, you're so full of shit. What? I just call it like I see it, Jazz. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I seem to remember your rant about that lousy rook and how you were gonna off that loser and take their ship. No? Shut up, Jazz. Both of you, cut the crap and let me talk. All right, look, 
I'm terrible at this crap, so I'm going to spare all of us the stupid speeches and make this short. When I took over around here, things were looking grim. We were hanging on by a thread. The only thing that kept the fleet intact was the promise that I'd find Crix's legacy and put us back on top. At the time, I was full of shit. I didn't know how the hell I was going to make that happen. And as the years passed, my words started to wear. We lost a lot of good people because they thought Dale was chasing ghosts. She's right. That thread I was talking about, it frayed. Badly. But when you found that recording on Suvorov, the hunt reignited. You gave us the courage we needed to hold fast. Now that his legacy is where it belongs, we can become the pirates Crix always meant us to be. Thanks to you. Oh yeah? Well, since you think everyone around here helps so much, I'll just give them all a piece of your cut. Oh, <gasps> Dibs on the comp spike! You would go for that garbage. Me? I only want the cash. All right, let's get down to business. You want your money, and you're going to get it. A lot of it. I know you hackers like to do things yourself, but have some faith in Shenya, Rook. By the time he's done, your creds will be so clean, they'll reek of detergent. Hmm. I wonder if we can have mine lemon scented. It'd be nice if we had options. Okay, okay, let's get this done. Before you head out and get drunk at the Nova, I want you to remember one thing. The fleet always comes first. There are still jobs to run, things to steal, and places to wreck. So celebrate, get wasted, then get back out there and make us some money.